Today, I'm gonna to be making this bird's trifle kit. This is the strawberry flavor, and it was sent to us from Chris in the UK, so thank you very much to Chris. Uh, what uh, comes in the kit, uh, you get um, some sponge fingers, you get jelly crystals and custard powder, you get a uh, dream topping, and you get sprinkles. You need uh, you're going to need different uh, levels of milk, which I'll tell you about when we deal with it. You need two tablespoons of sugar. Uh, we are using stra fresh strawberries. You do not have to have fresh strawberries, but that is what Chris suggested. So we're going to go with that suggestion. Suggestion, you also need some boiling water. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the jelly crystals. It says dissolve the sachet into a pint, uh, three-fourths pint of boiling water. So... Kevin, should I pour my boiling water in here first? Whatever you want to do. It's, well, it says into boiling water. So I'm assuming you already have your boiling water. And then we're going to dissolve this into, and this is a strawberry flavor jelly crystals. And so this is like for Americans, this is just like making jello. So what I'm gonna do, um, once I, I stir this and get it dissolved, uh, we're gonna cool it for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my uh, my fingers in the bottom of this is the bowl that I'm gonna put in the refrigerator this is gonna be the bowl that I finish on that my desserts gonna be served out of so put your fingers in the bottom of that bowl and just set that to the side and now we're going to uh, make our custard so um, it says uh, we're gonna that you can do it on the stove or you can do it in the microwave. We're gonna do the microwave So it says mix the contents of the sachet with two tablespoons of sugar in a large bowl and Then measure three-fourths pint of cold milk add a little of the milk to the uh, To the bowl and stir with a fork until smooth then add the remainder So the first thing we're gonna do is put the powder in And then the sugar. Mix it together a little bit. And now we're gonna put a little bit of the milk. Now we're gonna add the rest of the milk. fork until it uh, doesn't have any clumps in it until it's smooth then we're going to heat it on full power for six minutes stirring halfway through so heat it for three minutes and then stir it and then heat it for another three minutes and then we're going to slowly add another fourth of a pint of cold milk which I have over here in a separate uh, container uh, we're going to uh, stir in uh, a further fourth pint of cold milk while stirring vigorously, then leave to cool. Okay, here is my custard out of the microwave, and you want to uh, pour a fourth of a pint of cold milk in there while stirring vigorously, it says. And then we're going to leave it to cool. So, get this off the edges here. And I'm gonna let this cool. And, so that's good. That looks really nice. This, I'm gonna add my strawberries to my jelly, like this. Just make sure I get them in good. And I'm gonna pour them on top of my fingers. And I'm going to uh, put this in the refrigerator for 40 minutes. So now we're gonna work on our dream topping. You want to, you need four more ounces of milk, uh, which is uh, half a cup. 
and you need a uh, mixer, hand mixer's fine. We have a stand mixer, and you're gonna take your dream topping and your milk, and you're gonna whisk this until uh, peaks form. Now you want to spoon your custard over the top. show you something uh, right while well, I have you right here too. Uh, Kevin has a theory. Uh, you see on the box, their fingers are at the very bottom of the bowl. When I put my jelly in, they floated to the top. So Kevin's theory is that they... When they made their jelly and it was still warm, they got those fingers like wet on the bottom. Or they maybe they poured a little bit of jelly in the bottom of the bowl just to hold them down and let it firm up on the bottom, just a little layer in the fingers you know what i mean and yeah and then added their jelly on top of that later that's what i think because there's no way they would ever stay at the bottom but they don't tell you that in the instructions right. they don't tell you to do that so my fingers floated up and yours will too if you if if you uh aren't worried about it that's okay so this is my um whip topping and you put it on top that you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take your sprinkles and you're supposed to put those on top however I would like to um, add my sprinkles to each of my little like dessert uh, dessert trays So there's your, you can see your strawberry in the bottom. I didn't get a ton of strawberries in that piece. Let me see if I can get some more in this one. There we go. I got a few more strawberries in that one. And now I'm gonna put my, um, my little sprinkles on top of each individual dessert like that. So it does say on the back, it says you make it special. You can use skimmed, semi-skimmed, whole, coconut milk, almond milk uh, to make your custard any way you want. So if you like almond milk the best, use almond milk, it, it'll still work. Um, it says to vary the milk uh, quantity in the custard and or the topping for your desired consistency. Add more or less sugar to suit your taste. Add fresh fruit of your choice. So even though this is a strawberry kit, if we had wanted to add pineapple, yeah, blueberry. then we could have pineapple and strawberry, blueberry, uh, blueberry and strawberry. That 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 would be good too. Um, so. Let's see, top with sliced fruit or grate a little more chocolate over the top. So, you you know, there's just a lot of different ways that you can enjoy this. I don't think there's any right or wrong way. Um, we I'm, just made it in the box. With I'm full strawberry. Yeah, I'm sure some people would just buy it and not have any fresh strawberries and make it. So... Make sure I get me some of the, the finger. It's good. Go ahead, flavor. It's, good. Good. it's not an overly sweet dessert. If we made this, if this was our version, it would be a lot sweeter. It'd it? be over the top sweet. Yes. This tastes mm. light and refreshing and like <coughs> it's not overly sweet. No. No. no I, it's I, not I, heavy. Yeah, it's not heavy. Um, one thing I noticed when you were doing the, the custard, yes. it had a little bit of a skin on the top of it. Right. Oh. I never even thought if you take plastic and lay on top of that. I forgot. 
then then it won't do that. It didn't. I don't think it made any difference anyway. Because once you started up, it was fine. It was fine. Um, Even Chris said that, and I forgot until you just said that. Well, we've done that before in the past, and I, I just mm -hmm. forgot too because we don't. It's not something we make all the time because right. our pudding doesn't tend to do that. No. And custard and pudding are about the closest thing relating to each other I can think of. Mm -hmm. And our puddings, I mean, they will do that after a while, but not as quickly. Right. It doesn't happen that quick. Yeah. And it does with these. It does happen. And so we have used plastic wrap before yeah, just, and you lay it right on the yeah, surface. Yeah, lay it right on the surface so you, that will film doesn't yes uh, and uh, and i just completely forgot i didn't think about it either about but it. like i said it didn't make any difference at all anyway no. you can't taste it there's no texture difference no. it's, it's fine but this is a nice it's dessert good. and yeah. it's a pretty dessert yeah. so if you want to I make like the something, strawberries in there too yeah i do I, I like the addition of the fresh fruit mm -hmm. uh, but if you wanted to make something that uh you could have for company this would be nice chris did tell me that after a few days uh, it can get a little watery. Oh yeah, I'd say so. So this is one of those things I think don't make it until you're ready to eat on it, you know? Have yeah, it maybe for, the night before is probably the earliest I do. Yeah, and, and this would feed a lot of people. I don't, it says uh, six portions. Uh, I think you could get more than six portions though, especially if you're using little uh, dessert mm -hmm. bowls like this. I think you could feed a lot more than six people out of this. I was doing the strawberries out. The strawberries are really, a really good They're addition. Really good. So, Chris, thank you for the recommendation for those. Uh, bananas would be good, too. Bananas Especially if you're good. making it fresh the night before, like you said. Strawberry, uh, sliced bananas with some with the strawberry. That would be excellent. That would be good, too. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you again to Chris for sending this to us all the way from the UK. And thanks for watching.